Hello, today I'm going to show you how to adjust work to fit cap uh, sprint capacity. Let's open ERP project, let's go to boards, let's go to sprints. And uh, you will see in my first sprint I have, let's go to backlog, two user stories and according to capacity of each and every team member and the holiday which applies to all team members, let's go to task board and you will see that, how can I do, how can I see this one? This one can be seen by, if you hold, uh, go to view options, you should on side panel choose work details. In work details, you can see that the total capacity of team is 436 hours, uh, sorry, 302 hours and uh, the team uh, to the team is allocated 436 hours. Uh, John has uh, allocated 24 hour, uh, hours uh, and he is available uh, 63, Mary 124, uh, Paula 80 and Peter is way over allocated. So how can I see which which uh, uh, with which is who allocated? For this I will go here. And I will not choose stories, I will choose people. And I will get for each and every person how, uh, how uh, 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 which tasks are assigned. So you can see John has three tasks with eight hours assigned, which are 24 hours. Mary here has 30 and 30 is 60, 90, uh, 92, 124 uh, uh, hours, etc., etc. So they are uh, uh, f to each and every person is assigned task, and you can see they are over like it. So what can we do now? Well, we have several possibilities. Let me show you each of them. First and worst thing to do is accept it as is. I saw this many times and this is the worst practice. This is the bad behavior. I don't know how to say that because you obviously know that someone will not be able to complete all tasks. The, that that person, for example, in our case, Mary and Paula and Peter, you can see that he has capacity 72 hours and he should fulfill 208 hours. And if you leave it as, as is, obviously you admit that you are not going to be, that you know that you are not going to uh, uh, be able to finish all the work, but who cares? So when someone will ask you what actually will be finished, you couldn't tell. So this is the bad practice. Much better practices to remove uh, some tasks which and to come to real fit. So let's go to John. John is to create tables. Okay, but he's good. Okay, Mary on the other hand should make design. So Mary should make design for a customer screen, a good screen, invoice screen, back order screen. And she had 63 hours. So basically, 63 hours, let's say that she could do design a customer screen, design a good screen, design a voice screen, but back order not. Or she could do, if she has 63, design a customer, design an invoice combination. Okay, but let's say that we need first design a customer screen and good screen. So for that, I will go to design invoice screen click on these three dots, move to iteration to backlog, and then design a back order screen, move to iteration and to backlog. You cannot see anything here before you refresh. I will refresh the screen and now Mary is good. Now, since Mary is going to design a customer screen, a good screen, obviously let's keep for Paula for now because Peter is going to De, uh, do developing. De, Peter can do developing, okay, a custom entry screen and maybe goods, but invoice entry screen and back order entry, 
yeah, and invoice entry system for goods for existing, uh, uh, existing customer contracts, he cannot do why they should be automatically thrown out because design is not finished, because we throw out Mary's tasks. So Mary will going to finish customer screen and goods screen. So let's go here and let's say, OK, move to iteration to the backlog, move this to iteration to the backlog and move this to iteration to the backlog. Now he's let's. Oh, yeah, sure. Refresh the screen. Now Peter is over allocated from 16 hours. What can we do? OK, let's take a minute and let's go to Paula. Paula, obviously, can test customer and uh, cannot test ca uh, can test customer entry system and goods entry system because this will be developed by Peter. So let's say customer and goods. OK, but invoice entry system, she will not be able to develop uh, uh, test because it will not be developed nor be back order entry system nor invoice system okay now let's me let me refresh it and now you'll see that paula is available uh 40 hours what if paula can do development so let's say that paula can do development for good screens because you can see Peter cannot. Uh, sorry, Peter cannot uh, do both of both of those. Peter can do develop customer entry screen and a goods entry screen, but it doesn't fit. So let's say that Paula can do this. What can I do here? I can go here and I can click here. And I can say, no, Peter is not going to that, do that. Paula is going to do that. And I will say, save and close. Now you see that Paula ha has ho, much work to do. OK, now Paula is over allocated because develop goods entry system needs 48 hours. But Develop customer entry system will be done by uh, uh, by Peter. Test customer entry system will be done by Paula. Develop goods entry will be done by uh, Paula. So test goods entry system should go out. And let's refresh. Now you can see we have situation which is good but it is good in some way that no one is over allocated but if you can uh, uh, if you see here paula has eight hours of work which can be done and peter ca uh, 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 has 32 hours three days let's go to backlog and see what can be done by peter design a login screen okay let me let me open another tab duplicate tab so let's go on one tab i will have screen to see capacity on the other hand i will have a backlog and now i see that for design and who is designer mary's designer mary has on has only three hours. So what can we do here? Design a login screen. Let's say this for design a login screen. It is it is far enough, uh, uh, enough. Three hours are enough. So we are going to say, OK, original estimate is three hours. Remaining estimate is in three hours. And we are going to uh, assign that to Mary. And we are going to move it to the sprint. OK, save and close, go back here, refresh and see how Mary is working. Oh, Mary is full. Great. Now Peter can do what he must do, and that is develop this login screen, which is 
Here, make, make a login application using design screen. So let's go here. Let's say that how much Peter has. Peter has uh, 32 hours. Let's say that he needs 16 hours. Okay. Okay. And let's say that this will be done in sprint and this will be done by Peter. Okay. If I do that and save and close, I'll go here and I will see that Peter has now work to do. Who is our tester? Our tester is Paula. Okay. Let's see how much work uh, is left for Paula. Eight hours. Okay. Let's say that Paula can do that. So Paula is going to test design screen, uh, test a login screen, and I will say, okay, Paula, this will need you six hours. Oh, Paula should tell that six hours. And of course, let's go to the sprint. Let's put it in the sprint one, save and close, go to the sprint. And now you see that we have more or less good situation, except for John. What can we do? What can John uh, do? Well, obviously here we have a task which is missing. So what are we going to do? We are, we are going to create a new task for, uh, uh, for as a user. And I will do it by, by, clicking on, on, by clicking on this. And I will say, okay, add link, new item, as a child task and I will say create the users database okay and I will say okay this go to whom did we say we said to John let's say the John needs 16 hours remaining is 16 hours of okay. care and I will say create a database for users and let's say here necessary okay wrong here necessary fields are and now i can put i want one place done user id password user uh first name user last name okay that's it okay here user and let's say that it will be done once again by john so i can directly say iteration is here and it will be assigned to john now you can see that John has here create the user's database. Okay, and we are fine now. We are fine. And last but not least, don't forget when you are in sprint planning, day one. See here, June 5th is the day when sprint begins. Today is June 5th when I am recording this video. It should be all green. And you know what? Mary is on risk. Because if Mary will need more hours than it was estimated, she will not be able to complete all the tasks. Okay? And now, once again, I have to show you one very interesting thing. And that is how are tasks linked together according to this sprint and according to this user story. Let me show you that. Let's take a look at test customer entry system. If I click on this task, you will see that it has predecessor, develop customer entry system. Why? Because obviously, if you want to test here, let me go here. If you go test customer entry, you cannot test it before predecessor is done. Developer customer entry screen. 
And if I go to developer customer entry screen, you will see that successor is test entry uh, customer entry screen, but predecessors are two. Create a customer table in the invoicing table, database and design a customer screen. Why? Because you cannot develop a customer entry system if the design is not finished and the uh, table is not finished. But if I go to create a customer table, I will see it has no predecessor. So let me go back here and let me see that I have test a login application and I have design a login screen and, and I have here create the user database and design a login screen. And then I will see that those are 59. Okay, create the user database and uh, design a login screen 5, 5 and 59. So I'm going to take make a login application here and I will say design a login screen is here. Uh, create a payroll user in payroll system is predecessor, which is not obviously. So I'm going to get rid of it. And I will say, okay, predecessors to, for make a login application using design screen is the design login screen. And I will add a link, existing item. I will add, add predecessor and I will say 59, create the user database and I will click on okay. So now make a login application using design screen has two predecessor. Database should be created and this login screen should be designed. This is task number seven. Save and close and go to test. Okay. Test cast, uh, test login application. And I will say that uh, predecessor is make a login application using design screen. This make sense. Okay, this makes a sense, this is predecessor, and it makes a sense because you cannot test it until it's not finished. So basically, why I'm doing that? Because if, for example, design a login screen will not be finished in this sprint, obviously, obviously, Peter will not be able to make a login application using design screen, okay? Front end. And that is why you should have predecessors. But what if you want to visualize how your items are connected? There is a good add-on and I will explain it in my next video. Until then, remember, don't ever go to red. Ever, never. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.